everyone, and thank you for joining me for Sketchbook Sunday, episode 43. I'm working in my moleskin sketchbook like always, and I'm doing an oil painting sketch with my Gamblin oils, and I'm using Gal Kid as a medium to make it dry faster. So as a disclaimer, I prime the pages with gesso before using any oil paint on them. I get a lot of questions about how I use oil paint in my sketchbook or if it's any special sketchbook, and it's not. I, it's actually intended for drawing, which I use it for that as well, but I like to use oils in it too, so priming the paper with gesso makes that possible. And sorry to anyone who's been watching these for a while, you already know this, but there's people joining me. Um, finding these videos so I just want to clarify that so that people don't ruin their sketchbooks. I'm painting a forest river landscape sketch inspired by Oregon. It's a reference I got last year when I visited and this sketch was kind of an exercise in being looser with my brush strokes and improvising. There were a lot of rocks, branches, and leaves in this image and I didn't want to sit there like painting each and every single rock I saw in full detail exactly where I saw it so I just kind of improvised them and it was really fun to let go of trying to replicate the image exactly as it is um, and instead just sort of letting the image take form quickly and loosely and not having so much attachment to the reference. I tend to have this issue where I have a very strong attachment to detail and precision in my work and I don't really, I guess calling it an issue isn't really the best term for that because I, I enjoy that, but I also like to experiment and try to make things looser. I want to be able to say more with less essentially is, is what I would like to do with my work. Um, but I do have a very strong attachment to detail and precision, um, and as you know, I use reference images, which I also want to talk about today. Um, there is nothing wrong with using references, and I'm not just saying that because I use them. Um, if you like realistic art and you want to paint realism, the way you get better is by using reference material, whether you're drawing things from life, like models or landscapes or scenery, or whether you're using photos. That is how you improve, by paying attention to detail, by replicating it over and over and over again. And from what I hear, it's how they teach you to paint in art school, or many painting workshops will often have a live model which you observe and you paint, or like a photo. That's using reference as painting from life from a live model. That's reference material. You have this in art school, in art classes, and most artists that painted realistically, even in history, used references. Uh, they painted models from life. Look at Waterhouse's paintings. You will start to see the same familiar faces repeated in his paintings because he used the same models. Um, the Impressionists went outside to look at their natural world and paint what they saw. That's reference material. They were also very controversial at the time because they, I mean, not only was their style very different from what was uh, societally accepted and considered real art, but they also used um, uh, ladies of the night, <laughs> to put it nicely, as references for their art. Um, so this is not something that in any way makes you less of an artist, you know, it can really help your work tremendously and help you grow. Lately, I've also been seeing a lot of hate comments, not only towards myself, but other artists I follow as well, like bashing artists' work, um, insulting them, insulting their art, or just bashing them for painting realism and using references. And it's so dumb, to be honest, because why should anyone have a say in what you create and how you create it? Art isn't about pleasing someone and appealing to what they want you to make. It's not about catering to their invented concept of art, which isn't even relevant to anyone. Even my own idea of what real art is doesn't matter. My opinion is irrelevant. Art is just art. It encompasses so many forms. There are so many ways to create. The possibilities are endless and there's a very big difference between offering advice to someone to get better, um, to help them, and just flat out being a jerk. There's a difference. <laughs> and I totally understand why some people are so scared to put themselves out there. And I get this all the time. I get um, messages from my followers, from you guys, saying, oh, I really want to start a YouTube channel. I really want to share my work. I'm just scared. I don't want to be insulted for it or whatever. You know, I understand. I, I totally understand that fear because the internet can be a very toxic place. I throw in disclaimers constantly on my tutorials and other videos. I always say, hey, this is just my way of doing it. It's not the only way. It's not even the best way. It's just my way and it's what I like to do. I didn't invent it, you know, I didn't like make this stuff up. Um, 
my methods are kind of combined uh, from various techniques that I discovered on the internet or just with experimenting and reading and research. It's just kind of, I figured out what I like to do. And despite throwing in those disclaimers, um, people will still choose to misinterpret my intentions in everything I do. And if I took every hateful person to heart, I'd probably go crazy, but I honestly just look at it for what it is, uh, people just projecting onto me what's going on inside of them. And it doesn't affect me because my love for art is too strong to ever be bullied out of creating it or sharing it. So I'm just thankful that I can reach people who are kind and compassionate and love art, whether they love to look at art or make art. It's amazing to have this tool to connect with amazing people. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, clarify to you guys that there's nothing wrong with using references and there's nothing wrong with not using references. It's all up to you how you want to make your art and there's nobody out there should, who should have the power to tell you how to do it. Um, for me, like I'm very inspired by the natural world. I'm inspired by reality. I think our world is full of magic and beauty and that alone is enough for me. Sometimes I dabble in something a bit more surreal or fantasy inspired, but for the most part, I find so much beauty in our natural world and in the human body, um, in life itself as I see it. And that's what I paint. That's what I reflect back onto the canvas. And every artist will reflect their inner world differently. So reference material is awesome to have and to use regardless of how you go about it. Just make sure that the references you're using are royalty free and you have permission. I just use my own images that I take myself because that eliminates any chance of someone trying to claim that I stole their image because I didn't. It's 100% mine and nobody will ever be able to make a plagiarism claim with me because I use my own references. And it makes it so much more special to me because it's art that was made for my own experience and my own life. Um, so it feels more authentic and true to myself as I create it. And I do share references on Patreon as well. If you're in a rut, there's tons of them on there I've uploaded of nature. Um, there's some water references, flowers, hands, eyes, like all kinds of things going way back. But I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your support and kindness and for being so amazing. I'm so grateful to have the chance to share my art with you. And massive thank you to my Patreon supporters as well. So I hope you enjoyed this Sketchbook Sunday. I'm wishing you all a beautiful and inspiring day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!